one of the greatest of all time, joins us now at the quarterback position. He is the legendary, the legendary. Dan Marino. What's Thank up, you Dan? Guys. What's going on? The yeah, man. These guys are looking good. The legend. Feeling good. That's great. Yeah. Like the thrower of throwers, right? Best like, arm ever. One of the first times he doesn't even remember uh, this when he like, was quarterback challenge. I was growing up, and I'd be there. And I do he, remember that. He'd be getting ready to go out there and you know throw lasers and hit some target, and he'd be like, he'd be warm like up. warm up. He'd always be like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, little Phil or whatever, and he started throwing the ball at me real hard. Like, oh, little crap. Phil, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't call you little. No, Phil. you didn't. You didn't. You, you definitely. Or maybe didn't. I did. I don't no, know. No, no, a lot of people did, but I just, yeah, I don't know. But you were always great to me, and I appreciated that. Thank man. you, man. Thank you. How many yards in the year 2023 would Dan Marino throw for? So I get this question a lot, and I know I don't have to prove it. So I would say at least six thousand. <laughs> right? I don't have to Are prove you it. amazed? Like, what is it right? that what is it that jumps Plus out to you? Plus, you get an extra game too. An That's extra true. game. The yeah. pick plays. All oh, these yeah. formations well, and things. You're throwing it sideways. The completion rate's way up. Does you it know? drive you crazy seeing some just, of that? Like this no, is a I think it's actually. Down, I know. You know? It doesn't yeah. drive me crazy, right. but I can see that. If you're doing it, yeah, if it's a quarterback, you want to do it. Right. Right, because because all the advantages you get. But uh, we always threw the ball. You know, everything was down, down the field, field, high to low. You know, never were, you know, we never threw RPOs or, you know, the quick screens. Yes, right. If you get the right numbers and stuff, that we never did any of that. It's comical watching old games that you played or, you know, yeah. my father, if you, yeah. because yeah. it's like every throw is 25 yards down the field. Yeah, yeah. Or, or you're throwing a little check down. Or you're yeah, throwing or, a check or you're down. you're waiting for You're waiting yeah. for the big one, and you're sitting there patting the ball yeah. ready to yeah. throw one of your lasers yeah. there. Yeah. Um, but what, what, who's a play caller right now in football? that you kind of look at and go, man, I'd love to be like in that offense and, and run the show there. Oh, wow. Um, I guess, I mean, because of the success that they've had together is Andy Reid and yeah. Mahomes. Yeah. I mean, right. you know, how do you get over the last, they in what, three Super Bowls last four years? Yeah, three yeah, of the yeah, last yeah, four, three or four or six years. straight AFC I mean, championships. That's, that's pretty strong. Yeah. You know, right there. Uh, um, so just to see what they're doing. I think everybody does the same stuff. Yeah. It's just the philosophy, you know, right. it's like, how do you attack it with the people you have? You know, that's my thing was always like, how do we run plays according to who we have? Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, it's interesting. That's who I'd say right now, probably Andy Reid. Still working with the Dolphins. You'll forever be identified with the Dolphins. What do they need right now to get past the first round of the playoffs and maybe get as far as the Super Bowl? Yeah, I think, uh, it, just continue to grow. I think we've grown a lot over the last couple of years, especially with Mike and Tua and, and the offense and defensive. I think we played pretty damn good last last year defensively until I know it's an excuse, but we got Bad you know, injuries. decimated with a decimated. lot of injuries. That's and, right. And, you know, and, uh, and the Waddle didn't play every week. Right. And, and, you know, that, that kind of thing. Charles, hurt. Jalen Phillips. I mean, yeah, those are big Jaylen, people to lose. Yeah. So right. I think we just got to continue to grow. Keep the people that we love and uh, and go from there. But I I, I I do believe if we didn't have all those injuries, we'd have, we could have won a playoff game for sure. Something Chris has brought up in the past, and I think that it's 100% accurate. There's, not to say they're not tough, but there maybe needs to be a little more in your face, a little more I'll kick your ass and take your lunch money attitude coming from the players that maybe that isn't there all the time. Are we inaccurate in that perception? Um are you talking about just a Pacific team? Or this are you team, the about Dolphins, right now, right now. No, no, I wouldn't say that at all. I think our guys uh, love the game. They they want to kick ass, like you said, yeah. I mean, for sure. Uh, but once again, you know, you're going to have questions if, if you don't win at the end of the year. Yeah, and that's kind of, you right. know, that, I mean, that's just part of it. The perception and, starts And there. everybody's grown up. They understand it. You right. know, that's part of it. Right. Yeah. I, you know, just it's the passing offense, the yeah. warm weather dolphins, all that. Right? right. The perception is they're not gritty enough, but uh, you feel like that's in place there. And they can. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, yeah. Once again, I mean, yeah. continue to grow. And, you know, we had an opportunity where we could have had home field advantage. It didn't work out. But that's, yeah. you yeah. know, that, that's part of it. Sometimes you got to go on the road and win and it's it's tough that's why getting to this game so hard like tough, the nfl right. i mean it's no joke and i was telling a lot of people this with our m&m's deal it's a getting a ring of comfort right a ring of comfort for those who didn't win super bowls oh, so that's oh, what this done. is about and bruce well Smith's in it with me and to and uh scarlett johansson wow and she's in it damn because i guess she didn't win two she hasn't won a super bowl either oh well, she didn't win a super bowl you guys but you said she scarlett didn't super, yeah she didn't <laughs> win a super bowl but, <laughs> but yeah you're right. So, um, so yeah, it's just it's a fun thing. Cool. And um, 
and if you want to go see it, if anybody's in Vegas, right. you want to go see it, it's at the M&M store. Oh, the man. The actual ring with right. diamonds in it and the whole thing. Oh, wow. Peanut butter M&Ms and peanut M&Ms are one of my they're favorites best. for yeah, when I best. have the munchies at yeah. night. I am a go-to at in that night, department. Every night. At best. night. And afternoon. Nights. And I wanna, morning. like, talk a little bit just because, I mean, I, I think so much of you, but... I would like to hear you kind of wax poetically about this guy that's in the game. I mean, 15, Mahomes has right. reached Marino, Elway, Montana status, right? When you're on the field with them or watching them on TV, what, what is it about Mahomes where you just go, wow? So, I mean, first thing that you look for in all those kind of players is how competitive are they? You yeah. know, they really, right. you know, want to compete, want to beat you at the end, like, right. you know, Take your heart away. That like kind of you thing. when you just have the veins and the well, red well, face Well, thank you. You're saying and that, and but I mean, that. but like Mahomes, that's what he is. Yeah. Like he's a competitor. He wants to win every game, like all quarterbacks do. But same time, he has that talent. He has his special as far as it's just arm strength, his yeah. ability to throw from different angles, and and I think he's underrated on his ability to escape the pocket and make plays outside the pocket. I mean, he's. Probably the best in the league at that. He's a magician, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, it's not about blessed, running. Blessed, blessed with right. the arm talent too. So, right. Yeah, all that combined, you know, he's 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 special that way. You, you think he can catch Brady with seven? I think if he gets if he gets this one, it's going to get interesting. Yeah. 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 It's it's, it's it does. Seven's it like, just a lot, whoa, though, isn't it? It's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> the, yeah, I mean, that's crazy. But one of the things I, I say, Dan, it. you know, yeah. and you went through this, when you get into your 30s and you've seen a lot and you understand a lot and you can still do what you've always done, you get better. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get better. Oh, there's no doubt he's going to get better. And it's, is and if they can continue to put the right people around him, uh, which is important, you know, you got to have that. You, you could be a great quarterback, but if you don't have help, you're, you're not going anywhere. So. You know, that's the one thing I would say that, that they need to continue to, to do as a team is put real real players around them. Can, can he spin it? Can he throw it? Oh, yeah, That's the that. first things I heard him come out of his mouth, right? <laughs> like my dad was telling him, hey, Christopher's a pretty good little quarterback, and he, like, looked at my dad and was like, Phil, can he really throw it? Like, your dad said, yeah, he yeah. can really throw it. I'm so, like, well, that's all I need to hear. That's so, it. Yeah. So, but, but I, so we hit on Mahomes. You know, who, who are some other guys, like, that you look at to go, wow, in football when you watch them throw or, like, go, man, well, They're all different. You yeah. know, I, I I thought Tua played great this he year. Did. I mean, he, yeah. with the, uh, you know, with, like I said, with some of the injuries, offensive line late late in the year, yeah. it, we kind of fell off a little bit. But I, I thought he had a terrific year that he continued to grow with. And, and um, you know, one thing I was impressed with is his accuracy and his timing this year. That really developed a man. lot. Right. Yeah. And stepping into – you know, Mike, Mike's uh, offense and yeah. getting that down because it's a little bit different. Right. It's a different offense. And so him, Josh Allen, all those guys. Like you know, Josh, Josh Allen, when you see him throw, are you sometimes yeah, yeah. like, holy he crap, yeah, he can right? Throw. right? Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Like down it's, the it's, field, velocity, all that. It's he can, your he can level throw. of throw there. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Those is. guys, and he is such a physical player, you know. And then Lamar Jackson, what he can do right. with a football. And, right. Yeah, he's, he's been impressive, too. Did he win an MVP? No, it's coming, but oh, I think it'll happen. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Happen. It's tomorrow, tomorrow night. Time. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's kind of okay. inevitable. Well, yeah, I, I would think so. Yeah. What is it that we would have to say to the owner of the Dolphins, Stephen Ross, to get him to bring back the old uniforms all the time? <laughs> we hear from Dolphins fans all the time. <laughs> yeah, they, so on behalf of all Dolphins fans, they want the throwbacks to be the permanent uniforms. What do we have to do to get Mr. Ross to bring them back? I, I don't think he will because <laughs> that was kind of his baby. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, I, I'd like to see him come back, too, because they look great, especially when we have those games, you know, where we're wearing the, the throwbacks. Uh, but at the same time, he owns the team, and he's, yeah. He's I, I don't shots. think he wants to hear that question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just, this is yeah, his just better leave it alone. He likes yeah, this. leave it alone. How about in your career, right? I know you went to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 19. Uh what was your – maybe this was your – was that your best team you were ever on? Or what was the team where you went, oh, uh, man, that was a year, you know, yeah, we yeah. lost in the championship or divisional game and we, we could have won there it. There was a few. That yeah. that year for sure. Right. Um, then a couple of years later, we uh, – Was we it had, next year uh, when you lost to Pittsburgh? No, the next year we lost to New England. New England, that's right. Yeah, and they went lost on to, to play Pittsburgh. the Bears. And, you and then when the we Bears. got – like we got uh, Keith Byers and, and – Keith Jackson, right. and we still had Duper, Clayton, right? You know, and then we, and that's the year I tore my Achilles. Oh, 
So I felt really good about that. That, that was team. That we had team a chance. Like, yeah, we had a chance. That was 95, maybe? That was yeah, like 92. We like, they went. Yeah, right. 92, 93, it was something 92. like that. 92. Yeah. yeah. I think 92. Right. Yeah, but we had a chance there. And then we played Buffalo another time in the AFC Championship yeah, game. Yeah, right. And lost Down that. home. Yeah, at home. And uh, But those were the teams I would say we had our best chance. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you look at it back in those days, too, like, you know, as far as the way you guys played, your offense, all of that, it's, it, was, it was like, for me as a young kid, I was amazed yeah. by it. Um, I, I guess where I wanted to go with it is, uh, uh, let me just t- turn it this way. Who were some of the best teams you played against, you think, in your NFL career? Like, who, who were some of the teams that jump out to you and you go, oh, my gosh, Well, special. the 49ers. The, that 84 the team? team? We, yeah, the team we lost, yeah. they were really good. I mean, we kind of got all the publicity because we broke all the records. All the passing and, and all, all that. All the passing records, and, you know, we had a – we only lost two games. They only lost one. And then you look back on it, and their defense was rated right. number one in like every category. People forget that. They forget that, yeah. Right. In every category, they were number one. And then, and then you had Joe and, and, and what he was able to do, which is amazing. And uh, so that made it tough. And then playing the Steelers, you know, some of those years with Cowher, they were yeah. always a good football team. Right. New England had a little stretch there where they were good. But then, you know, playing Buffalo. We played Buffalo. I mean, we incredible. had to get through Buffalo. Right. To get to the Super Bowl, and we lost to them quite a few times in the playoffs right. over the years. Yeah. And, you know, that I, I think they held us back a little bit from that, from getting another chance. Yeah, you, mentioned, you mentioned the 84 49ers only lost to one team all year. Do you remember who they lost to? Uh, hmm. The team that should have drafted you a year earlier. Oh, the Steelers. In Pittsburgh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Is that right? Okay. Do, you, do you ever, like, wonder, man, if they just, because they, they thought they were going to have Terry Bradshaw sure, he got for hurt. several he more got years, hurt. and he had the elbow thing and never. I played like one game against the Jets that year, and then he was done. done. You ever wish they just would have realized, you know, it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be awkward. We don't know how long yeah. he's going to be here. I could have been Steelers quarterback and, you know, finish this journey of high school, growing up, college, right. and right. be the Steelers quarterback. I do think about it, and uh, I think at the time it, was, it, it, it would have been a lot of fun and, 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 and growing up back in Pittsburgh and being a part of it. But I also think there was a, there was a spot in my mind that wanted me to go somewhere else just to mature and to, you know, to be living on your own, the whole thing, and understand what it is like in other places. But then, yeah, if I'd have went there, we could have done some damage. Could have been something. Yeah, we could have been something. Tell us one more time about your deal with m and Oh, we got uh, the, so we're doing a ring. m and is doing a ring. Uh, it's called for the, uh, what's that, what did I call it again? Sorry. The Ring of Comfort. The Ring of Comfort. Ring of comfort. I screwed it up. You got me. Yeah, the Ring of Comfort, and it's uh it's at the M M&M and M store, yeah. and there's diamonds, diamonds in it, peanut butter, M and M's, uh, and the one thing it's uh, it's cool is the commercials will be a lot of fun, and T O we got T O we got Bruce Smith and we got Scarlett Johansson in there, and uh, uh, so it was a lot of fun making it, and the ring of comfort for those who are not champions, uh, you just gotta accept this, uh, man. But at least I got that ring going you got, for me. You do. You got some I got other that stuff ring. going I got for some you other too. rings. Yeah, You're but doing this, okay. this one is special this, this week. This one's special this week. We know that. <laughs> All right, last right. thing before you go that I want to just hit you with. Who's the best player you played against in your career? Who's the one guy when I said that you just go, wow, he was unreal? Um, on a defensive side? You can go either way. I don't care. So defensive side, I'm going to go with Bruce Smith because go I had to play with him so twice much. Or twice yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah, twice a year, three, three times, times a year. Three times a year, right. You know, that defense is pretty strong. Yeah, they were strong. Uh, you know, LT, I only played against him like three times. Yeah, but right, yeah, right. He was pretty special yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LT yeah. probably talked more than Bruce Smith, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, <laughs> yeah, wearing right. sunglasses. But um, an offensive player, I mean, I always thought Elway. I had yeah. such respect for him. Yeah, yeah, I know you did. Yeah. There he is, one of the all-time greats, one of the greatest throwers of the football you, ever since they first invented a football, Dan Marino. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.